Here are the first comment shout outs from my last video. If you guys want a chance to get a shout out as well, make sure you guys go in the comment section below of this video and be the first, second, or maybe even third person to comment. Thank you for your love and support. Let's hop straight into the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Raby, and today we are finishing up the Super Strike EZA predictions with the physical type. I have done AGL. I've done tech, I've done intelligence and STR up to this point. So if you want to go check out those videos first, they will be on my channel. So we have three units to look at here. We have Mecha Frieza, King Cold, and Veku. Now, unlike other videos, I was actually able to go in and change what I wanted to. So obviously, this is not King Cold's real passive. This is just changed um, temporarily, right? And this, I didn't change it on the website. So if you don't, if you go to the website right now, this is not going to be changed. It's just. For my view only, I guess you could say. So this is Mightiest of Monarchs King Cold. Um, I gave him physical type key 4 and HP attack and defense plus 70%. I wanted this to be extreme physical, but I did not have the, the control to change the image. So we left it as physical, but imagine it's extreme physical. His super attack, full power death beam. I did causes immense damage to enemy and massively lowers attack. I think that you, that just used to be just lower attack, right? But now it's massively lowers attack. So, as you guys can already tell, he's going to be pretty decent in Super Battle Road. So, his passive skill, State of Oppression, Key 2, and Attack and Defense plus 50%. So, I want to give him that off the start, right? And then, Defense plus 100%, and all enemies attack minus 10% when facing only one enemy. Defense plus 50%, and all enemies attack minus 30% when facing two or more enemies. So this is really good in Super Battle Road because there are stages where you fight multiple enemies and then there are all, there's also stages where you fight only one enemy. Attack plus 100% and enemies attack minus 30% when facing one hybrid Saiyans category enemy. And then attack plus 50% and enemies attack minus 50% when facing two or more hybrid Saiyans category enemies. So basically, I did that because of Trunks, right? Because he died to Trunks, but, you know, I wanted to give him a boost against hybrid Saiyans category enemies. But I kind of went ham on his passive. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think this King Cold would definitely be good in something like Super Battle Road, especially the hybrid Saiyan Super Battle Road, right? Because if you're facing multiple enemies, right, you're going to get this secondary passive off where you have attack plus 50% and you're lowering or you're diminishing their attack minus 50% as well and then also you're getting a defensive boost of 50% and also lowering their attack minus 30% so that's a combination of attack and defense plus 50% and in not including this right and you're also lowering their attack minus 80% this guy's going to be insane for super battle road and then he also massively lowers attack on super attack so Depending on who you attack, I mean, yeah, depending on who you attack, they're going to have no attack whatsoever, and they're not going to be doing any damage. And then this guy, I feel like this guy is a must-have for something like Super Battle Road. I wanted to give um, a Wicked Bloodline, Android Cell Saga, Terrifying Conquerors, and a Target Goku category unit this type of power. I, imagine having this guy, who's free to play, by the way, right? You can farm up the Super Strike event, and of course, he has to get an Awakening and all that, too. This is just assuming he has an Awakening. But... It'd be really cool to have a King Cold, a King Cold that dominates in Hybrid Saiyans, um, Super Battle Road, or just Super Battle Road in general. Let me know what you guys think about this unit. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so here we are with Mecha Frieza. Now, I wanted to make this guy similar to King Cold, right? Where he's very useful in something like Super Battle Road to give free-to-play players a better chance of beating stages like that, right? So, we have Explosive Vengeance Mecha Frieza. Of course, this will be um, level you know, 140, SA20, because these Super Strikes do get SA15 when they get Awakening, so it would be SA20. Now, it's Leader Skill. Uh, extreme Physical Type. I know it says Physical, but I couldn't change it. So, Extreme Physical Type, Key 3, and 50% to all stats. So, unlike King Cold, um, Vegeta... Not Vegeta. What the heck did I just say? Unlike King Cold, Frieza... Um, causes immense damage to enemy and massively lowers defense not attack but defense so you can see that having these two guys together is a pretty good idea uh, pretty good idea right now his passive skill vengeful power okay key two and attack and defense plus 30 percent at the start of turn attack and defense plus 30 percent when facing two or more enemies 
Attack and defense plus 30% in addition when facing a hybrid science category enemy. Attack and defense plus 30% and a high chance to crit when King Cold is attacking in the same turn. And then defense plus 30% when attacking in the first slot or attack plus 30% when attacking in the second slot. Now, I didn't want to add anything happening in the third slot because the goal of this Frieza is to match him up with King Cold and keep them on the same rotation. So I gave you an option. I said, okay, if you want to attack in the first slot, you get a little bit more defense, right? But if you attack in the second slot, you get a little bit more attack. Basically, you choose, right? And there's there's a lot of attack and defensive buffs. So basically, if you're going up against, if you're going to Hybrid Saiyans, Sewer Battle Road, right? There, you're going to get attack and defense of 30% automatically. And then you're going to face two or more enemies, so it's another attack and defense, so that's 60%. And then you're facing Hybrid Saiyans category enemy, which is 90%. If you have King Cold on the same rotation, that's 120%. And then you can boost attack up to 150 if you're attacking in the second slot or defense 150 if you are or defense up to 150 right if you're attacking in the first slot so let me know what you guys think of this unit i think it's really cool to have free to play units that helped out so much in something like super battle road because let's be honest super battle road is kind of getting a little bit played out we do have extreme super battle road now on the jp side so it'd be really cool if we have some free-to-play units that would just destroy the old sewer battle mode. Let me know what you guys think, and let's move on to Veku. And here we are with the last physical unit. So we have Unpredictable Fatness uh, Veku. Um, I actually did realize I can change the level and stuff, so I made it to 140 from SA20. It would be cool. Uh, of course, this would be an awakening, like I said, right? So his leader skill. Movie heroes or other world warriors category key two. I forgot to put the plus sign. Oops. And attack HP attack and defense plus one hundred percent. So it'd be really cool to have another other world's warrior categories and another movie hero category um, leader, right? Um, I think all stats one hundred percent is not broken for a free to play unit, and it's giving two keys, so it's not like it's three key or four key or something like that, right? I did forget to put the plus sign. My bad. His super attack Kamehameha. Causes immense damage to the enemy and raises attack by 50% for 9 turns. Now, I do see him as the, as the defensive type, like a tanky type. So, in his super attack, I wanted to give him an attack boost. But his passive skill, I want to give more of a defensive boost. So, his passive skill, key 3 and defense plus 100%. Reduces damage received by 40% for 6 turns. High chance to perform a critical hit and reduce damage by another 40%. When facing a movie boss's category enemy, other world warrior category allies key two and defense plus seventy percent. So this guy, right? He's a little bit of a support. I mean, he's actually a really good support, but again, it's only for other world warrior category allies. So I wanted to make that category a bit better. So you can run him. On, you can run this guy on that category, right? Um, and we do need a support for that category as well, right? So, I made it for 6 turns because he is a free-to-play unit. He's not like summonable. Um, I think 40% is really good, right? And it's only for 6 turns, which is basically the length of any Super Battle Road. Um, I wanted to make him pretty decent in the air. He's not going to be taking too much damage. And then um, he reduces damage again by 40%, guaranteed if it's a movie boss's category enemy. And a high chance to perform a critical hit. Um, and you know, might be saying he won't be doing that much damage, but he does raise attack by 50% for nine turns. And if you do give him um, additionals, that can be 100% if he is super attacks twice. So let me know what you guys think. Um, maybe I could have put a little bit more. I, I don't know. I think this is actually pretty good. He's not that strong, right? He's just tanky. So I think I made it pretty accurate to how it was portrayed in the movie, but. Let me know what you guys think of these three easy ace. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.